What's up, guys? It's your boy Justin. Uh, today, uh, I'm reviewing the Stephen Chow Hong Kong action comedy film Fight Back to School, which is a 1991 film. It's directed by Gordon Chan, written by Gordon Chan with Barry Wong, starring Stephen Chow, Meng Chang, and Man Tat Nick, uh, <laughs> and G, however you pronounce that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm huge fan of, um, huge fan of Stephen Chow, right? I love his films, right? I think... W um, his most popular films in the West are probably um, Kung Fu Hustle and Shaolin Sh Soccer, which uh, Man Tat and G was also in uh, Shaolin Soccer, which he unfortunately passed away a while ago. Um, I think it was like in 2019 or something he passed away or 2020. I think it was 2020, right? And, uh, yeah, so, like, I've been wanting to watch and, uh, review this movie. Um, you know, last year I revisited a lot of Stephen Chow Hong Kong movies I never watched before. Which, the one good thing about Communist China <laughs> is that, you know, they, they don't really give a crap about, like, <laughs> give a crap about, like, um, people putting out, uh, their movies for free, man. <laughs> Uh, the movies and TV shows for free. That's the one good thing about Communist China. Right? <laughs> Though, if you ask me, Hong Kong movies were probably better before, you know, they China took it back from England. <laughs> Especially, look at, like, Hong Kong movies back when it, England, England stole it versus afterwards. And like, holy crap, did the skyline get ruined <laughs> by all that, all the pollution that was going on. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the movie is basically a combination of Hot Fuzz mixed with Billy Madison, right? The, the movie's about Stephen Chow's character, uh, who, who goes by the, his, the, <laughs> that's the one problem I have with the movie is pretty much everybody... Uh, er all the main stars of the film go by their names in the movie. So, like, Stephen Chow goes by Sing Sing Chow or Star Chow, which is his real name, I think. Um, and he, he's this, um, he's this, uh, squ uh, squat team leader, uh, which there's a great scene where you see, like, it's almost like... Uh, Resident Evil, where you see the like the, the these team of SWAT guys storm this like haunted house, and it's filled with like communist commandos. <laughs> you can see like a the hammer, the hammered sickle painted on the wall. Oh <laughs> uh, man, that that was funny, man. Who knew that um, they would get to, like uh, get they would get given uh, back over to communist China. <laughs> Oh my god, right? So yeah, like, um, he, yeah, it turns out it was a, like, you know, a test, and he failed. He was able to rescue the hostage, but everybody on his team died. <laughs> so he gets sent back to, like, you know, uh, he gets, like, demoted, right, or something like that. And, you know, his, his, uh, he goes to meet this guy, uh, his new boss, uh, and his new boss is played by Barry Wong, one of the writers of the film, um, who, who, uh, re recruits him for a mission to infiltrate, uh, a school to recover, uh, his stolen pistol that was stolen by, like, uh, like, uh, high school ki uh, like, high school kids, right? <laughs> and comedy ensues when he, like, he goes to the... Uh, high school and it's like a very prep preppy school right and you know he he really sucks at like you know uh, studying he's constantly getting like uh, uh, like uh, he, he's like a uh, racer like a ra uh, racer brushes thrown at him <laughs> uh, like he's constantly getting punished in school 
uh, until like you know Miss Ho, who's played by the beautiful uh, Man Chung, uh, tutors him. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Like turns out like one. Uh, um, so, but uh, he befriends like the nerds at this school, right? And unbeknownst to him, becomes the leader of a new gang, right? Which they took a new gang after he beat up some of the school bullies, right? Which some of the school bullies uh, is like the younger brother of of an arms dealer called Teddy Big, who's played by Roy Shung. Which Roy Shung, I think, was in a movie we reviewed called The Mission, right? Yeah, I think he was the mission. I think he was like the guy, the guy from the mission who, uh, f who fucked the, their triad, triad boss's wife, and like the rest of the team had to like you know, uh, protect him. <laughs> uh, he, he's rocking a very, uh, he's rocking a very like uh, Leon Kennedy haircut in the movie. You could tell the movie was shot in the nineties, right? I. I gotta say, I loved the movie. The action was great. The comedy uh, was great. Uh, it's very juvenile, juvenile humor, but like the, uh, but you know, the there's lots of physical comedy. Uh, there's dirty jokes in the film, where like uh, has like the Stephen Chow's character has a, st a study sh session with uh, Miss Miss Ho and. Uh, Uncle Tat, who is like undercover cop who a has to pretend to be Stephen Chow's uh, father, and he's the janitor of the school, uh, gives him like gives him a condom, <laughs> which the condoms in like Hong Kong were shaped very weird. <laughs> right? They look like they like they look like like a like like a candy or something, man, because it's not the usual circle circle circle. Um, shape right it's like she she sees the con the condom right and he's like oh no it's gum and starts chewing it <laughs> and blows it up right yeah lots of cool action movie the comedy is great uh i i did find it weird that they have like uh, the, the the teacher takes um like all the students out f for a picnic and this is all boys school right but apparently all all the kids at this school have girlfriends, including the nerds, which is like, okay, how does that happen? Only in communist China where, where even the nerds have girlfriends, man. Oh my gosh. Which there's a funny scene where like uh, Turtle Wong, who's like the nerdy underling of Star, of, uh, Star Chow, Stephen Chow's character, um, asks his girlfriend Annie, hey, can I see your breasts? Even if it's just one side, and she beats him with his with his Game Boy, right? <laughs> uh, <coughs> yeah, oh yeah. The, the the this movie is effing hilarious, man. And there's a really cool shootout at the end of this uh, the movie where um where the 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 main character recklessly like takes takes uh takes the bad guys to the school because he thought it was going to be empty. Not knowing, hey, they were setting up, they're setting up like, um, they're setting up for a school festival. So like, th his class built this maze, and they had this gunfight in the, uh, in this uh, maze, right? <laughs> uh, which even one of the, the the school bullies that was against him earlier in the movie like joins his side, which I thought was cool, and like he, it kind of like calls back to the begin the movie where he has to lead a team of high, high schoolers against uh, like you know the arms dealers right uh, yeah the arms dealers which holy there's some really funny like uh, scenes in here in the movie right where like he just casually kills a bunch of people with like with uh, gasoline like lure because like the part part of the movie like the end part of the movie um you know he he steals like you know he gets the gun but the pistol back and uh, pistol back and like delivers a truckload of like AKs to his boss, not realizing that he accidentally left 
Uncle Tap behind. So he gets a call from like from Teddy Big, the arms deal. Hey, uh, get your ass over here. <laughs> get your ass over here. I'm gonna kill your old man, right? Right. So he he go he goes back. Um, uh, like uh, lures the fucking the arms dealers uh, clients and translator into the back of the, the, the back of the, the the van and like the 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 arm the, the the client was like this guy speaking really bad english he's like hey man it smells like gasoline here and this fucking like steven chow just cash this fucking chucks like a lighter in there and runs off and fucking explodes like kills like three fucking people <laughs> just casually <laughs> Man, that was funny. That was fucking funny. And there's some, and there is some cool action movie. I don't know if I think if you if you liked films like Stephen Chow's other films like Love on Delivery, right? A uh, Kung Fu Hustle, um, uh, Sha Shaolin Soccer. This is, this is a good movie. I'm sorry, I forget. I forgot a lot of Stephen Chow's movies. <laughs> They're like, yeah, Stephen Chow. Like a lot of his '90s movies are fucking great, though. Um, especially like, like he had like a bunch of movies on Netflix. I don't know if they're still on there, but they're they're fucking hilarious as well. Yeah, if I were to give this movie a rating, it's a solid seven out of ten. Um, if I had one complaint with the movie, they set up like this um, rival like cop character who's in love with Miss. Who's like Miss Ho's girlfriend? Who's in charge of the Triads division? And that that plot line gets dropped near the end of the movie, which this movie is a trilogy, so maybe they brought that back. Also, I thought it was kind of lame. Hey, you named the characters after the the stars of the film. That was kind of lame. But overall, I enjoyed the movie. It's really fun, and you can watch it on YouTube for free. <laughs> All right, guys, peace.